Here. What's happening, everyone? This is Rob Yang of RobertYang.net. I'm here at the airport in San Diego, and I'm ready to take off to Madrid. It's about 8.40 in the morning, so I've had my breakfast, and I want to talk to you about trying to minimize jet lag. It's one of the things that happens, especially I'm heading to Madrid, it's about nine hours ahead. And so one of the things you've got to do is you've got to properly hydrate. You know, I talked about this 10 million times, but first thing I've done here is I've gotten my Fiji water. Now it's not an advertisement for Fiji, but you got to get some good water. Um, they have Fiji, so I grabbed it, three liters worth, so it'll last me for that 14 hour trip. Now the other thing that I've learned a long time ago was from a specialist, his name's Terry Hurtog, and he was having a lecture and someone raised their hand and said, you know, how do you overcome jet lag with hormones? And he's a hormone specialist, he uses testosterone, estrogen, growth hormone, you name it. But what's interesting is he actually told the people that don't worry about the hormones, don't worry about the melatonin, worry actually about controlling your blood sugar, of actually what you're eating. So I've taken that heart, and the best way to stabilize your blood sugar, keep it level, is to actually eat protein. So I've got a bag here of food, and I've got some chicken salad here from Jimbo, and I've also got some herb roast turkey breast here. And you don't notice it, but it's actually frozen. So that's the way I keep actually my protein sources nice and cool, prevent it from spoiling. So you can freeze your protein sources overnight, and then as they thaw, you can eat it slowly when you're on some of these long trips. And not only will you notice uh, minimizing jet lag, but you're going to notice better energy levels, um, your bowel movements will be better, more consistent when you travel, because constipation usually is an issue when you travel. So just remember these tidbits. Remember to drink your water half your body mass a day. Uh, make sure you hydrate on the plane and make sure to keep your protein sources at regular intervals um, as you're on the plane. So thanks for watching. And remember, to feel well, you got to eat well.